it is a kind of paradox of globalization, right? Mm -hmm. So after the 70s in particular, immigration to the United States goes up quite rapidly. There's a lot more trade, especially with Asia. Many more Americans get passports, they travel abroad, and yet at the same time we're less interested in some aspects of foreign literature. And maybe uh, there's, there's something more general to this. So if you think of America as in some ways an open country, uh, actually we're much less willing to watch foreign films than our people from most other countries. And then you go to Canada for all of its talk of cultural protectionism. They do a small amount of it. Or Paris, arguably they're in many ways more open to foreign cultures than America. So like, like what's the general paradoxical lesson about globalization we can pull out of all of this? Uh, I don't know, it, it might be a <coughs> cultural thing that uh, America has in many ways always uh, been sort of uh, integrating. It has integrated the immigrants that come in and uh, it is valued that they become American, that they uh, uh, adopt American values. And part of that has been leaving behind to a certain extent the culture. I mean, there's a great uh, amount of literature of sort of the first, second, third generation Americans and how sure. that, that lives, but it's almost all in English. Uh, and uh, there's very little of returning to the languages that um, these uh, immigrants brought with them. Um, on the other hand, it's fascinating how many uh, foreign authors live, especially in uh, university settings, in the United States. Sure. And, but th they live in these sort of isolated pockets. They're not part of the broader American literary culture, which I find a bizarre paradox. I don't quite understand why that happened.